okay hello guys i am jack from tricode so after a long time i came back here again with another video so today's video i will teach you how to create a fully professional and beautiful newspaper magazine or a blog website like this we will be creating this with wordpress and absolutely free yes that's right guys we will be using the only free themes and free plugins to build this website so before starting the video i personally thank all of you guys for the support and inspiration you give me in my first video so this was my first video and i never expect a lot of response from this thank you so much again okay so now before we proceed further let me show you the exact same website that you will be creating today with this video if you follow my step by step tutorial so as you can see here here is the header part so here is the header top social icon uh, here we have it will be the social link uh, here is the my account link the profile link and here is the website logo uh, this is the website menu and uh, here is the search option you can search anything here okay and here is a post style and you can choose different style if you want and here is the tenting post and you can also make this four column two columns um, and uh, this is the ad you can also post here google ad or something like the, any other ad so here is the another post style and uh, here is the latest stories you can also make these three columns or one column as you wish and here is the another ad here is the gallery the post gallery and here is the post load more button so if we click here we'll see many other posters okay and here is the website footer so here is the full website we will be creating today okay so as you can see here i creating this website into my local host but i will show you how you can build your website into your live site i mean if you have a live domain and hosting so i will be showing that how can you build this website into your live domain and here is the step i will follow while creating my uh, creating this website so this is the step one install wordpress on the hosting c panel okay let's go to the step one so after login into your hosting uh, you can see uh, this dashboard and uh, from here you need to find the software okay so here is the software and click on the wordpress manager by subtaculous and click on install okay so here is the wordpress installation process and choose the version um, but i will keep it because it is the latest version uh, choose protocol you can choose anything from here but you should use the stp tps and, and choose the domain so i will choose my subdomain here is the subdomain and here will be site title site name you can also set this after install wordpress and login into your admin dashboard okay so magazine magazine's website sorry okay and here is the admin username well you log in you need this as uh, so add password so i will change the sorry okay you always should use a strong password admin email so you need a, a valid email uh, okay i will change that later okay so 
email installation details too so if you want the uh, admin access or installation uh, log then you you can enter your email here okay oh, so it will take some time okay so it's done let's see so here is the website with the default wordpress theme so we need to log in oh so it's automatically login okay so let's go uh, we successfully down the step one okay now go to the step two login wordpress dashboard and inst install the theme block c okay so here is the uh, wordpress dashboard and we need to install a WordPress themes called Bloxy. So go to the appearance and theme sections and click on the add new. And here simply write Bloxy, B L O C K S Y. Okay, now click on the install. Yes, and click on the activate. Yes. Uh, thanks for installing block C you rock. So with this theme, this is a Required uh, Plugin I think so click on the install block C companion Because without this plugin we cannot uh, get the theme options uh, allow and continue Okay, we successfully installed the block C theme and activate this so we can see the website looking safe now so here is the website okay so now go to the process uh, step so we have done the step two and let's move to the step three create some pages post uh, post category and assign those to the menu okay uh, as you can see here we have no menu here uh because we have no post page or anything so we need to create some page post and post category so first go to the pages section uh okay so i'll delete these two pages and click on the add new so i will create first my home page home uh, simply click on the published yeah okay so now go to the post section and click on the categories now create some post category and we'll show this category into the menu so the category will be health okay sports um, take so it will be as you need uh, so I'll go to the process and I think this will take some time so I will get back to you after getting some post dummy post post category and a menu so as you can see here we have no menu right now so at first create a menu so to creating a menu you need to go appearance and click on the menus okay and give a menu name so i'll be name it the main menu and click on the create menu okay and go to the page section so we have only one page if you uh, don't have any page so create one you can simply delete that and create a one so this is the home page so i'll uh, go to the again menu section and select the home from pages uh, click on add to menu okay now select the header menu one and click on the save menu okay now go to here and okay 
so we have only one menu item here that's why it's only one item okay so go to the post section and categories so we have three categories you can create more as you need so we can also assign these categories into the menu so go to the again menu section click on the categories view all and select those categories click to add to menu okay now save the menu so i assigned the categories into the menu because when we will post uh, into the categories and we can see those posts into uh, these categories okay so we need now some post otherwise we cannot uh, creating the exact same website like this so now i will po uh, create some post so i will get back to you after creating some post so as you can see here as per the step 3 requirement I created some pages, post, post categories and assign those to the menu. Okay. So here is my post test and this is the dummy post. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, I created many post test for the testing purpose. And here is the some post categories I created and also created a menu. Okay. So this is the menu and uh, those categories are assigned to the menu so uh, this is the post categories and I have only one page and uh, this is the home page so we'll uh, design this later like this okay and all other is the post categories you can see here okay so we have completed the step three process so now the step four i'll set a home page and post page from the wordpress setting so wordpress has two options so at first we need to uh, go to the settings and the reading section and you can see here uh, your home uh, home page displays so we need to select the home page and a post page so currently we uh, we don't have any post page so we need to create one so go to the pages and click on add new and i will name this blog main now click on published okay now select the home page and select the post page okay so now reload here and you will see uh, this is the home page but currently a home page have no any content and the blog page we need to assign the blog page into the menu okay so select block main uh, click on add to menu and set the menu okay and reload here okay so this is the block main uh, all the blog post will be displaying here dynamically after posting uh, this is the pagination so this is the block main page uh, this is the post category page uh, post category and uh, this is the home page okay so step 4 is done and the step 5 explore some theme options layout and block setting okay so uh, as you can see here we have no logo and uh, the design should be like this okay so I think uh, we need to uh, create this home page first otherwise it is looks like a in, in complete place in, okay so we'll skip the step 4 and sorry step 5 and continue the step 6 that's why we can 
uh, create the home page okay so the step six is install the post text plugin and activate okay so go to the plugins and add new search here post x okay now click on install now okay now click on activate okay welcome to gutenberg plus version okay so here is the documentation if, if you need any help regarding this plugin so you can submit a ticket you can see the more features okay so we have completed this step six and now the step seven is uh, edit a page and import the layout from the post text block library so now go to the page section okay so this is my home page uh, i will edit this edit and as you can see here the block library in the top so this will uh, this is come from the post text plugin so click here block library and you can see uh, the starter pack so this is all the starter pack so this is the free version and uh, this is the premium version so free version has the three complete layout and premium version has many others so we'll see the free version and later we'll see the premium version also so this is the starter pack means this is a complete page layout uh, if we import this then the complete page will be automatic created like this and here is the ready-made block design uh, block means uh, the part by part section so here is also the free version and the premium version so we'll show the free version first and after we'll see the premium version okay so we can uh, import as our wish like if we import the free version complete starter pack then we, then we uh, a complete page will be created so we'll, we'll show this first starter pack free version and i will import this for the testing purpose uh, okay so i will import this and just mm -hmm. click on the import okay so as you can see here the block is imported and uh, the all the section is successfully loaded now click on the update and check our home page okay awesome you can see here the page is successfully created as i said before okay so this is the complete starter pack we can also import the ready-made block design like if, if you want any section into our into our pages so we can simply import this too so we'll show this later but at first we'll see the options so let's go to the step section so we have completed the step seven okay so the step eight is explore the post text options and customize the layout as you need okay so let's move this here and you can show here this is the layout so this is the only free layout available and this is the pro level uh, pro layout so if you buy the pro version then you can unlock all the other layout also like the title will be top and the category will be bottom and you can get the many customizable option okay so we can uh, show that free option like settings so we will try to edit this at this section okay let's see what is the settings here so click on the settings and general so here is the gap settings like if we increase this so this will increase the gap column gap okay so and here is the height you can show here uh, we can 
enable and disable the headings like here and we can also edit this okay we can disable the title category and many more so we can also set the pagination okay here is the alignment so we can see here here is a lot of option available uh, with this block library with free version and in the advanced tab have some if you uh, need a custom id uh, and martin padding so we can also customize from here like background border box shadow and many things and also the custom css okay so this is only the settings general uh, general section we have lots of section here so like query we can select the query but you need to update to pro version and the headings so this is the headings like i edit before uh, this is also the alignment option okay so here is also the heading style fantastic you can select the tag for the headings here is the heading typography color border color so we can see here here is a lot of option this is for the sub heading okay now move to the title so this title is the post title i think okay yeah this is the post title we can set the colors from here we can also set the hover color okay we can select the typography like font font size font weight here is the meta setting you can select the meta setting style with icon no icons style 3 4 okay here is the typography so we can see here there's lots of options for every uh, single options everything for the every single content so this is for the only uh, this block so let's move to the another block so this is the trending post trending post block and you can see here uh, the free version have only one layout available like this but if you uh, unlock the pro, uh, update to pro version then you will get the other flow layout like the image will be on the content will be the under on the image top and something you can see here okay so let's move to the setting part you can saw here the similar setting like the before the heading part the title excerpt so it's lots of option for every single item all things are customizable and editable okay so here is the trending post and you can select the how many item you want to show like number of post 9 so we can simply uh, decrease that like a six okay so now it show the six item and we must select the column okay so now it's showing the three columns uh, if you want the four columns then it will be the four columns like this okay Here is the column gap. So and this is the add with the image add-on. You can change that. Here is the another trending post, another design. So we can see here ready-made design. So uh, currently we uh, this is the this is one of the style, but you can see here we have more ready-made design here but 
the free version have only one design and the pro version have others we can also choose the other free version here so just simply select uh, this add-on and block and click on the import okay so <laughs> it's amazing and you can see here the whole layout is changed and the design is looks awesome you can also select this yes so here is the different style for this block so let's customize this I'll go to the settings and general so there is the column and column gap height okay so go to the query and make it four okay perfect and here is the latest stories and three version have one layout available and pro version have any other other force so we want <coughs> to increase the column like three columns okay and make the post count six or three for the design okay now it looks good and here is the pagination so we can also customize this like here is the pagination so pagination will be if you want to load more then select load more if you want the navigation then it will be the navigation sorry so here is the navigation so we'll keep the load more option okay now update the page and reload here okay so you can see here here is the top part here is the trending post the six item and three columns we have set earlier the blow uh, add section here is the another post style the awesome post style here is the latest stories we set the three columns and six post here is the post gallery and here is the load more so if you click on the load more then the other post will be the visible so here is the totally free version layout and i think you liked it so you can see here everything is customizable and here is a lost lot of option so this is only the free version but if you uh, choose the pro version then here is a another lots of uh, pre-built design simply like this we'll saw this later okay so i think uh, you understand the process that's how can you uh, build a custom home page for you i just help you to understand the things you just simply need to click here with any of the page like okay so let's, let's go to that another page i will show you like we will create the another home page so we just need a page okay other home okay now click on the block library and simply select any of the free layout or <coughs> select the ready made block design okay so we'll saw this now so this is uh, the only one section so click to import so so you can see this was my selection for the <coughs> my demo site okay now click on the update and see this space yeah so this is the base 
so with this method we can we can import any other or uh, all other ready-made block design so we'll select okay we'll select this okay so you can see that it's already imported and it's totally fast and awesome so click on the update and reload here so the section is here already here and you know all the section is customizable just here is a lot of settings for every single item so here is the thing that i want to show with you and this is the totally free so i think we have completed the step 8 okay so we need to complete the footer and header part because we will skip the uh, step 5 section uh, explosion theme options layout and block settings okay so we'll show now the step 5 and step 9 like the header and the footer part because i have not uploaded any logo here and also the menu was the middle in my test website like this and also the header top part and the footer part okay so let's go to the dashboard and click on the block c like uh, from here block c so you can show here here is the block c option the color option header option block option uh, this team has also the lots of option here and you can show here the starter site also this theme has also the pre-built layout for uh, some of the categories like product review site business site modern shop app, charity travel and the blog seniors but today will not show this uh, i will make another video how you can make a complete ready-made site with only the blocks theme so we can uh, uh, now i will show, show you the header part and the footer part so let's go to the header option go to the option okay so at first we need a logo okay so you can show here this is already appear the logo click the logo and select the logo okay i have already uploaded the logo here in my uh, media so just simply select and you can show here the logo is appear okay so this will the site title now yeah the logo is now perfect okay so we uh, want this menu as a center so here is the menu so we can just simply click and drag at the center of the row okay so you can see the menu is centered now so this is totally dynamic and customizable uh, we have header top row the main row and the bottom row so we can simply add anything here like in my uh, demo site it was a social icon and my account link but uh, if i want then i can add anything here like uh, the row is two columns design okay so we can like social so i'll keep the social icons here you can see the social icon already appear so you if you want to add the link so click on the just social and from here you can add the link i think okay so and the account okay the account is appeared here yes okay just now click on the published and reload here okay so here is the social icon and 
this is the my account link and this is the centered menu uh, the search icon and the logo okay we have completed the header part and we will see the footer part okay currently uh, we have only the corporate option so we need to like this uh, we have four columns uh, this is the about gallery categories and recent post and we have also the footer to column footer bottom two columns category copyright left part and the social in the right part so go to the customizer section again and go to the footer section so here is the footer section so we have the four columns here for the footer so we'll add the text widget for the first column for this we will need a widget first so here is the widget and click on the widget and add a widget so we just simply add a text widget like this and we will just copy the text ok we can also see the live changes from here I think the another widget already here. So here is the widget, but oh, okay. So here is the text widget for the first column. So here is the first column so we have more three columns uh, in the second column we have a gallery so at first take a widget like this click on the widget and add a widget so we'll search gallery yeah so this is the gallery and click on the add image and select some image like okay create a new gallery and if you, you want you can select the column like three columns okay we need another one image and we need a title here okay now reload here okay you can see the gallery is here so the third column will be categories okay so let's go to the third column select widget click on the widget delete the first gallery then click on the add widget then click on the categories okay so this is the categories part i think this was the tag i think or categories yes this was the tag sorry okay no problem but we'll keep the categories for now 
okay so this is the categories and for the fourth column we'll add it add it and add will add another widget and click on the widget remove the tech cloud and keep the recent post recent post okay okay perfect now click on the published okay so you can see here uh, this is the footer i try to show you how we will how you can create this footer you can also make your own footer this is totally customizable and simply so that's it and the another thing is we need we here is the another social icon in the footer right so for this we just need to click here bottom row and make the row to columns okay and keep the socials icon here okay so that's it yeah you can see here the copyright is left and the footer icon is the right so here is the footer successfully here is the load more here is the gallery the latest stories the trending post and the post style we can simply edit this page and so write this because it not looks good yeah so that's it I think you understand the way how we can make a home page with the simply post text plugin this is uh, a beautiful free plugin I think for the magazine and blog site or any kind of newspaper site so this is the free version and I have also the pro version so let me see how is the pro version so click on add new and upload okay now click on activate plugin okay now go to the page again and i will edit the home page again and we'll see what is the pro version okay now click here and try to edit this okay so we can show here sorry the post text settings here is the settings okay to unlock all layout update to pro okay so we need to activate the license key so i have to activate the license key here from post text license so when, when you buy this plugin you will get the license key okay so now reload the page again okay so now click on the block and see yeah so now all the layout is available to use 
just select the another and let's see you can saw here the design is changed yeah so now this is the three columns oh this is awesome so now view the page okay and this looks cool i think so let's move to another blocks trendings and this is the default free version layout so i will select this yeah and this is looks good more attractive i think so i'm the section i'm the page and reload here so you can show here uh, this is changed this is looks real pro okay let's check the another design okay okay so i think this will be good okay now go to the another blocks and you can see here now all the pre-built layout is available to use because i activate the pro version so we can use any section from here like if you want you want this uh, design then simply click on the input yeah you can see so, uh, the design is changed yeah this looks good So here is the thing actually so all the other features and uh, uh, complete all other demo is available to use now so you will get the more flexibility if you if you buy the pro version so i will keep a discount link in my video description uh, if you buy from this link you will get a discount okay so let's go to the other pages and uh okay so i will create another page test page and i will show you the other pro design test pro layout okay click on the block library and you can see here the premium library is the premium template is available now you can import any of the layout so we can uh, this is looks actually the <laughs> realistic website so click the import yeah oh my god okay now click on the update and view this page just see this this is that professional i think and now oh, this is the categories and it's not loading this just ajax filter So uh, this is a complete professional and awesome layout I think. You do not need to any customization or anything else. Just buy the pro version, input the layout and I think the site will be ready within minutes. And also here is a lot of customization. You can also get the other variation here with the pro layout like this so you can see here update and reload here looks this 
uh, this is the two columns here is the two columns and this is the one this is not actually column okay so this is the things guys the pro version has more layout pre-built layout you do not need to anything just import and use the plug use those layout the gorgeous layout so here is the site and this is almost you can saw here the use number of downloads and 10,000 plot active install if you want to build a professional and a brand new ecom uh, sorry uh, newspaper website so I think this will be the most advanced and best plugin in the marketplace so thank you I think I have done all the things uh, let's see my steps so explore the post explore feature so yeah I think I can complete this I, I, I had already completed this yeah okay so guys thank you so much and if you like this video please uh, share this video uh, subscribe my channel and uh, if you want another, another series or another video with another category uh, comment here and i will try to cover up the video so thanks again